a war zone playlist that you would have to go through. I had a slender mission structure to the Barracuda escape mission. I definitely like the little video overlays that um, redacted a lot of the stuff of the HUD and kind of set the mood. Uh, I wish it wasn't as sang posted, but then again, it's Call of Duty, it's a mainstream franchise. You do, you do go through the teaser that was showed last week, and then finally you go see the actual trailer. Um, trailer, let's face it, a moon piece. Looks like it's set from the 60s to the 80s. Um, looks like James C. Burns is back in his woods, which is good. I mean, if that makes sense because it's not a reboot like Modern Warfare last year. And um, we obviously have older weaponry like an M16 one and, and uh, you do get the little looking Hedgehog scope which you saw in the, the Black Ops games. Uh, there is also some news that it's going to have a branching paths like uh, Black Ops 2 which I did work on and create a character like Black Ops 3 so it does have some replayability. Uh, the multiplayer reveal will be on September 9th. And it looks like a Warzone map. That's it's pretty smart marketing. That typical YouTube video reveal was smart up to do because of recent world events. And um, overall, it's good to they're going back to what worked. What worked. And, um, Raven's working on the campaign, which is always good. They've been at this word studio for um, Infinity Ward and CODs as well as Trayer. And this is the first time they've done like a single player content. So uh, we'll see, uh, see how that goes. It's coming out November 13th, which uh, looks like it might be a week before the possible PS5 reveal, so the re release date. So there's that. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you later. It's a quick video. Thank you. Bye.